Wednesday, not like every day in the Giro, normally riders have to get from point A to point B along normal roads, the normal way, but on Tomorrow Vieta, they decided to put the style of Bianchi in. Well, the bike's almost the same, the frame is the same, the, the everyday frame, the only thing that changes is the tyres. We put on some 25 section tyres, as the same as you put on in Belgium, and we put some shorter gears on so you can get up hill easier. In fact, it's all because of the uh, ballast that must remain seated all the time. So you need uh, lower gearing just a little bit. While the mechanics are preparing the equipment, riders will be preparing for breakfast. Well, the end of the stage is uh, more impressive than difficult. The secret is to make uh, a, for a good race is to be at the front when you arrive in all the areas. It means that you're going to have to fight on the normal roads to be in a good uh, position. Are you going to stay in a group around uh, Roman Koisinger? Frankio Mascarelli is being asked. Well, of course, you have to stay near the leader in this case. In case something happens, like a bicycle can go wrong, you have to give him all the assistance possible. Because of the risk, uh, Lorenzo Lepage explains Astana's preparations. Well, we have three dirt sectors on the road, and we put people on each of those sectors. Like this, if there's a technical problem for our riders, punctures, problems with the bike, we can always have somebody behind the sectors to help them because our cars could be a long way away and riders could lose an awful lot of time. This is a stage where you have to ride pretty carefully. This is not a stage where you can win the Giro, but you certainly could lose it here. To me, this is the first real day of the Giro because you have like a, had to ride like a team together in the first place in order to, put, to protect your team leader, Roman Kreisinger. Well, it was BMC rider Martin Kola who was the first man who got to the white roads. He attacked very early on in the day. Behind Kola, the big favourite started to come together, fighting for positions coming onto the Strada Bianchi. These dry, dusty roads, the Astana riders trying to stay ahead as much as possible. Well, one of the most active riders on the first climb, along with Roman Kreisinger, was Francesco Maschiarelli. We'd seen him before. There he is with the ponytail on the right hand side, just to ride for an Italian team now riding for Astana. Well, with less than nine kilometers to go, Peter Wiening, who'd attacked, counter-attacked, with Jean Gadget, went on to win the stage. Very impressive indeed. Well, as we were saying earlier, not everybody can win, but somebody could really lose today. And it was Danny De Luca who lost nearly eight minutes of the finish. Francesco. Francesco, how was it today? We saw you shoulder to shoulder. He said that was great fun. For me, and I'm pretty lightweight, and on those very steep climbs, my rear, rear wheel was slipped uh, quite a bit, but uh, I made a lot of efforts. But the team was very good. We drove fast. Roman's in good condition. And uh, we'll see what happens in the upcoming days. Good work by Francesco Mascherelli.